Fitz was a happy, outgoing three-year-old who liked preschool. He loved riding his bike and would ride his bike about four miles at a time. In November of 2020, he started getting a little bit more lethargic and couldn't ride his bike four miles. And at precess, preschool recess, he didn't want to play with his friends and his teachers indicated he was really tired. On November 19th, we took him to his pediatrician to get some blood work and they referred us to Children's Hospital. Later that night, we found out after some scans that he was diagnosed with Burkitt's lymphoma. He would have four rounds of chemo over the next four months. And even though it's a relatively short chemo, he it was an intensive four months at Children's Hospital. And he would go in several times um, to get chemo and enjoyed going in and seeing the nurses and doctors and has overall expressed a positive experience of being at Children's Hospital. To this day, he has to listen to Christmas music because it reminds him of being at Children's Hospital and reminds him of the nurses and doctors that were there that took care of him over Christmas. So Fitz was incredibly brave and strong throughout um, his multiple hospitalizations. And he became used to multiple finger pokes for blood tests and spinal taps. He tolerated taking medications all the time, learned how to swallow pills, and he became well-versed in the names of anti-nausea medications and, and chemo drugs. On days he felt well, Fitz enjoyed walking around laps on the unit, pushing or riding on his pole, carrying bags of saline and chemo, uh, helping nurses send specimens and the tube system down to the lab, and saying hi to everyone he passed. Fitz remained positive, optimistic, and was a source of joy for his family despite his circumstances. Fitz has been cancer-free since spring of 2021 and continues to follow up at Children's Hospital. His immune system continues to recover even nine months after his last treatment. He receives infusions of immune globulin to help boost his immune system and restore his energy. Fitz always looks forward to the next time he can see his oncology provider friends. Fitz's cancer journey has made him observant of people who need medical assistance and has sparked a daily interest in learning about the medical field and has indicated he wants to be a brain surgeon someday, in addition to all the other firemen and policemen and other professions. He often gives his stuffed animals chemotherapy and uses the, key, the medical terms um, for all of the IVs and the chemo and the procedures, including putting in ports. Um, he, is, he likes to watch paramedic training videos as he's indicated that if he's gonna be a brain surgeon someday, he needs to learn how to give uh, people medical treatment and needs to start now with uh, paramedic training videos. During Fitz's cancer treatment, he memorized a Bible verse that he repeated during times of fear or uncertainty. He continues to recite this verse today as it's become a motto for his life. Would you like to share your verse? Can you try to share your verse with everyone? Can we say it together? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 and 9. Thank you, everyone. We're so grateful for all you do and for your support of our family.